Hi everyone. Hey, it's me, Joe Progo. Hey, hey. Um, so this morning I woke up and literally the first thought in my head was since eight is canceled, I don't know how to go on. Um, I learned this news, you know, when it happened a couple days ago, but I just like didn't my phone just told me low battery, but we're going to keep going anyways. Um, I learned about Sensei being canceled when it happened a couple days ago, but then I didn't feel anything about it and I just kind of forgot it existed. And then people keep bringing it up because it's hard. It's really hard for everybody. Um, I know it's maybe silly to talk about a TV show ending being hard, but I'll tell you why I think it isn't silly. Um, because it's like, because Sense8, it's like, uh, it's one of those shows that like changed television for me and like changed storytelling for me and made me be like, I have to dream so much bigger than I've been dreaming about, um, storytelling. Um, so I have been working on this novel for a project for a really long time, um, like five years. Um, so you probably think it's never going to happen, but... <laughs> someday it's going to. Um, so, uh, I've been thinking about that storytelling and I've been thinking about how important Sense8 is for me just as like a fan and as like a queer person and a, a like a, a human being existing in this world, especially on the margins of society. So, um, and Sense8 like, oh my god, it's just like my heart and soul. It isn't, but it is. Like, it captures some essence of me that I can't capture in words. And I think it's that way for a lot of people. I think for a lot of us in the queer community and in the world at large. Um, so, um, and that's why I think it's been such an important show. So, I think that it, um, I think the reason we need shows like that is because they help us to imagine something different. They help us to like picture our life different. Um, and like, even though Sense8 is like a little bit of a like dystopian sci-fi weirdness, like in whatever, we live in a dystopian ish kind of society world. Um, it's scary as fuck all the time. And shows like that are like, you get some superheroes to look up to that you like maybe aren't like traditional superheroes, but are just like people, characters that you can love and who love you back. I know that's weird, but whatever. We all read Harry Potter. You know what I mean. And like Sense8 is like so much different from Harry Potter. Like I used to think of Harry Potter as like, that's a really cool thing. But then I learned and then I'm like, I keep learning, I guess. What am I trying to say? I feel a little bit scattered suddenly because what I really want to capture is that we need stories as big and as complex and as like shoot for the moon outlandish as Sense8 is. And as, um, we need those shows in order to imagine our lives differently and in order to keep going. Like stories have always been important forever. That's what I think. And they're going to keep being important forever. And even though Netflix can cancel a show like Sense8, they can't cancel our need for stories. And another, like more stories are going to come. Sense8 like broke some walls down for us. So now we can do bigger and better things. Also, if anybody has an idea about how to reboot Sense8, I'm in. Let's do it. Kickstarter, uh, take to the streets. I got you. Let's do it. Um, so that's what I wanted to talk to you about this morning on my walk with Pike. Um, yep. So I'm going to go now and I will talk to you later. Believe yourself. Believe in yourself. Keep living. I'll see you soon. Bye.